everybody, thanks for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to talk about getting the most flawless corrected under eye area with just a few drugstore products, um, including a couple new things that I've been trying. Now, Walmart's sneaky. When you see new products there, they don't always have them in like some special display. They'll usually be just like stuck in with the existing um, brand's products. So I was really surprised when I came across these True Match correctors. So I have the ones in Peach and Bisque, and they had a whole range of other shades too. For darker skin, tones in terms of under eyes and spots, they've got even an orange, a true orange shade. And there are some other good corrective products out there. I mean, in a recent video, I just used that Milani little quad that has a corrector and some other shades. But even for the drugstore, that can be a little on the pricey side. And to get the corrector shade, not everybody wants to necessarily have the palette of everything else. So when I was realizing how well this worked for me, I was like, this is a great, easy, throw it on, just corrector. Under $10, I think I might have bought it for $7 or $8. It's thin, yet it has kind coverage, yet it's also not drying. So very pleased with the effect, and in this video what I'm going to show you is the little cocktail of products that I use to get a really flawless drugstore under eye that actually stays looking fresh and flawless throughout the day. So I would say the three steps are correct, brighten, and bake. Not that you have to do all three of those things, but that's just the process I'm going to take you through and you can pick and choose, you know, what you want to take from it. But you guys know how I feel about my erase paste or my Boing Brightening Concealer. I think that does a fabulous job. I still think that does a great job. But I am always on the hunt for something from the drugstore that can do that same kind of task. So enough talk about it, let's just show you how it works. All right guys, bear with me. I'm still getting my voice a little warmed up this morning. I've just really had a bad cough here lately. Fortunately, that usually signals the end of a cold for me, so yay for that. But um, the shade you're gonna see me really demoing here is the True Match Super Blendable Correcting Concealer in Peach. And this is the one geared toward fair to light skin tones. Although the bisque for light to medium, I can make that work as well. In even more pinpointed areas. So I've got my foundation on already. This is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation that I have, and that does have a decent bit of coverage, but as I turn my head right here, you can really see the area that I'm planning to tackle in terms of the dark circle. So I'm just gonna take the peach and really work that in here on the innermost corner of the eye, and then traveling down just on top of where I have the circle. I'm not looking to go like far beyond that or make a big huge path of this product um, just because I have another thing that really takes over for the brightening and I think looks really good on the skin. It's also very lightweight. So I've got that on there and then I'm just going to take this uh, P80 brush from Sigma. Anything that just makes you feel like you've got a lot of control and are able to blend something out without completely blending it away on your skin, you know. Sometimes I feel like when I blend with my finger I can overdo the blending a bit. Then after I get done with that, I just gently kind of tap over it with my finger just to ensure that there's not too much product on there. I kind of tap that little line, um, that little crease that's under our eye, and I can pick up any excess. But what I like about this product is that it's lightweight, yet it's not drying on this area. A lot of corrector products, some people will complain that like it's too thick or it's just too big of a layer or whatever. And these, I feel, are really great for being a lightweight yet non-drying stick. And as I turn my head here, I mean, I can notice a huge difference in the dark circle that was there before. So now you've color corrected and you could be done here, but if you want an extra brightening step, here's what I like to add in. I've been using this Maybelline Age Rewind um, in the brightener shade, so it's a little bit pinky. It's just, they're sort of, I wouldn't call it like illuminating, but it's just the tone of this is very brightening on my skin tone. And this is what I'm gonna dab on all over from the top of the cheek way up into here. Like the True Match stick, this is very thin. It does not feel heavy on the skin. I mean, this product's been around for a while and has a massive following. This and also the skin tone shades that are in this line manage to wear really well on me. And I like using this brightener even elsewhere on my skin to just sort of perk up, you know, the areas that I want to bring forward. Then I'll just sort of dab over this with a larger brush. You could also use a beauty blender here, just whatever you like. Um, this is my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which by the way, this mini size is on mega clearance. We're talking like a dollar and change on Target's website, so that's awesome. Okay, so now here we are, incredibly brightened. The skin feels so alive right now. And the last step that I'm gonna throw in here has actually been giving me amazing wear with this look. Um, I feel like it makes the under eye look so, so flawless. And I think given that my concealers haven't been too thick or too heavy, this just really works well. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me In Fair. I'm just gonna tap some product into the lid here. 
And this is my sponge from NYX. I'm just going to pick some up there on the flat side. I also like using my Real Techniques brush for this kind of a step. And I'm going to dab that powder right over, especially where that circle was, and just carry it up too. So basically everywhere that the brightener went. If you're anti-baking, I mean, there's so many options. You could not use powder at all. You could do a light um, just dusting of powder if you just want to really take away any kind of creamy texture, but you're definitely not like overly tacky after those last couple steps that I did. So I always like to take advantage of my time while my concealer's baking, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows, and then come back, we'll dust away some of this powder and see what we're left with. Got my brows on, this is my e.l.f. small tapered brush, and I'm just going to do some kind of sweeping motions here over the under eye, and I, I don't know if it's showing on camera, but I can see the powder kind of like dusting away. And nope, there's no more circles there anymore. There's no more darkness, not even a trace really. And we've totally achieved the look by using a very affordable, just stick concealer that happens to be in a really good tone. Now for the deepest skin tones, they do make a real orange corrector stick. And in the middle, they've got this bisque shade. Now the bisque for me, I even find that I can layer it on top of the peach and still get a really corrected look that way. Although there's not really any point in using the two products. But where I think I would actually use the bisque I think this would have been a perfect shade to correct um, melasma spots. So that very dark kind of sunspot looking discoloration that I had for a time kind of right here on top of my cheeks. This slight depth of color and this tone I think would be perfect for something like that. So a couple of really workable shades. Again, depending on the amount of coverage and brightness that you like, you can stop at any point in the process. But I do really like that Age Rewind Brightener just to really like shunk, bring everything to life and then setting it with the Fit Me. Everything is so smooth and soft and it wears really really nicely so what I will go ahead and do with my look is finish up by bronzing blush eye and lip of course I'll do a little setting spray so the finished look here just showing you how it all comes together you know really brightened flawless under eye area created with just drugstore stuff for me to be so satisfied with the coverage but also the wear I just feel like it's really saying something so this was just a little technique and some recommendations that I wanted to pass along a real test of this look is the fact that I can give you this like three-quarter turn here and really not see the circle. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again very soon. Bye!